Welcome to our lecture online. So what is a rational inequality as opposed to a quadratic inequality? Well, a rational inequality is an inequality that has an expression that is in the form of a fraction. That's where the word rational comes from. And so here's an example of what that might look like. x minus 3 divided by x plus 1. So this is an expression that's in the form of a fraction greater than 0. Of course, it also needs to contain a greater than or a less than symbol in order to make it an inequality. So there's a couple of differences when we approach inequalities that are in the form of a rational expression. First of all, we have a denominator. And of course, the denominator can never be 0. So we first need to find all the values for x that will make the denominator equal to 0. So in this case, we take x plus 1, set it equal to 0, and we find out that when x equals negative 1, the denominator is equal to 0, so therefore that's a forbidden part of the solution. x minus 1 cannot exist. In other words, x cannot be, x cannot be equal to negative 1. That's a forbidden value, which, because that x equals negative 1 makes the denominator equal to 0, which means it's an indeterminate form, it is a forbidden form. We cannot have a zero in the, in the denominator. Next, we're going to approach the solution also a little bit differently. Notice that since it's a, in the form of a fraction, if the numerator is positive and the denominator is positive, if I divide a positive number by a positive number, I get a positive value, which is always greater than zero. But if I have a, a negative value in the numerator and a positive value in the denominator, then when I divide a negative by a positive, I get a negative number, and that's less than zero. So we're going to take the approach where we're going to find all the values for x that make the denominator and the numerator either positive or negative. So when both the numerator and the denominator are positive, I'll end up with a positive value, and therefore that's greater than zero, so that offers up a solution. Also, when both the numerator and the denominator are negative, because when I divide a negative number by a negative number, I get a positive number, which is greater than zero, I also have a solution. But if one is negative and the other one is positive, it doesn't matter in which order, that cannot be part of the solution because when I divide a negative number by a positive number or a positive number by a negative number, I do not get something that's greater than zero. I get something that's less than zero, so it does not satisfy as inequality. So that's how we're going to start solving these kind of uh, problems. We're going to first move everything over to one side. Then we're going to look for values that you cannot have. That makes the denominator equal to zero. Then we're going to find the critical points. We'll show you how to do that. And then we're going to set it up in such a way that we find the values of x that make the numerator and denominator either positive or negative. We pair them up and we find the ranges of all the solutions that we can have. So, I know that's a lot of words and you like to see how it's done, but come back on the next video and we'll show you how that technique actually works. We just want to give you a nice overview of what we need to look out for and how we're going to go ahead and solve rational inequalities. And that is how it's done.